Hello everyone, my name is Arios, and welcome to The Librarian. This is supposed to be a platformer game where you are a librarian trying to save the world with knowledge? I didn't read too much into it because um, I saw the platforming and the actual models and everything looked really, really good. And I wanted to give this a shot for a little bit slower pace um, because you're, I, cause if it's supposed to be a platformer like I expect, then you're supposed to take your time. And I don't know what this is made in. Honestly, I will have to look it up. Anyway, let's get... Oh, there's Axe in this game? Who cares? Let's go. Get into the game. Every story has got a power. Yes, it does. The power to shift past, present, and future. There were stories whose power exceeded the world. Those were threaded, blown and heard into the depths of oblivion. They were authored repurpose into objects and lock away in the lost place known as the Great Library. The place was secure, guarded by a lineage with the power to keep the stories at bay, and the kinsmen kept both the place and its contents with the utmost secrecy. However, in the death call the last keeper, and the medicine assignment devolved upon his grandson, the old hidden power was set. Oh, wow. This is a lot more in-depth than I thought. Which, I didn't think it was going to be lackluster, but I thought I'd just be like one of those jump straight into the platformer. But, God, excuse me. The Libraria. In. Ooh, this is actually pretty cool. So the, that voice actor sounds just like the one that is in um, the, uh, This Is Not A Game. And oh, cool. That, aware of the great power that was stored in the book, our hero was determined to use it to establish order once again. Okay, cool. So what's with the page thing at the top left? Huh, I don't know. Yeah, but the voice, the... the Wait, what was that? Which what? Which what? Which what? I didn't get to read that. Oh, man. I don't know the buttons. Uh, but that voice actor... Oh, God. That mouse sensitivity. Whoa, whoa. Let me... Let me... Uh, let me lower that a little bit. Oh, I can use the gamepad. Oh, let me plug that in real quick. Let me see if that works. <laughs> Probably not going to automate. Oh, cool. I can't use it. Okay, so what do I need to do to climb this ladder? Uh, oh, wait. Push the table to the ladder. Oh, oh, okay. So that's what I did. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And that's a desk more than a table. But anyway, the, the narrator sounds like the narrator from uh, It's Not a Game, or This Is Not a Game, which it may be by the same company. I didn't actually notice that. Oh, look, a page. Is this the Slender Man? Press R2 to use Sherlock Vision. Sherlock Vision? That's kind of peculiar. The run animation is a little weird. Um, whenever he turns, but still. Okay, that's cool. What, what do I do with the piano? I'm going to go do the piano. <laughs> the game does not like immediate turns. Okay, that's cool. I guess it's just to show interactive objects in general. So, do I need to solve this puzzle, I'm assuming? <laughs> oh, okay. Now that I can see, because of my Sherlock. The Sherlock vision lasts a little bit too long. And you can't turn it off yourself. So push you right there. Push you over here. Eh, 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 ugh, eh. So he is the grandson of one of the keepers and oh crap and so his responsibility is to ah his responsibility is to protect the thrown away stories i think i think that's what i think that's ah i think that's the premise of the story and, okay just a little bit just a little bit and 
There. Oh, what, eh, eh, uh, there we go. That's awesome. Like, I, I like when the environment becomes the story. So, like, this is all about a library, or the Great Library specifically, but this is all about a library, and so a lot of the interactive objects and a lot of the changes and stuff are library-related. I want to open that, but I can't. So, let's go. I wonder if I get attacks and stuff like that. Is it? Is it? Press R2 to... to Oh! Oh! That would have been nice to know, to get back to the back of my camera. So it's the camera reset. And that's cool, because there's actual, like, physics when I jump on them. Like, there's actual weight uh, that that gets distributed. Okay. Open the door. That's an awesome loading screen. That book animation is flawless. Maybe it shouldn't open and close like that. That's weird. Oh, cool. This kind of reminds me of... Um, oh my gosh. It's the, the, the movie with Macaulay Culkin. Um, page Master. This reminds me of a Page Master kind of thing. I hear things. I hear enemies. Oh, what the heck? Is that a moving bookshelf? I'm just gonna keep using R2. Press L button to scare minions. The book, not only uh -oh. allows him to put up a fight against any monstrosity that emerged throughout the play, but also to make use of its power to avoid any upcoming misfortune. You turn into a book. Okay, that makes that makes complete sense. Cause it, it's I guess it's I guess it's to make them believe that uh, to force them to I guess be afraid. Whoa! Did I everything rotate? I think everything changed. Um. Oh, I was supposed to go up there. Well, I went up this way. Right, let's use my Sherlock Holmes vision. I guess it's supposed to be like. Oh, wait, X? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I don't... Did I do that wrong? It's a quick time event. Oh, I thought I was just supposed to like get the the radius of the button. Nope. I did it. Okay, that's weird because I still don't know the Xbox controller buttons very well. Okay, okay. I I understand now. I didn't realize that it was a button click. Hey, is that a Cheshire cat? Is that a Cheshire cat looking character? It looks like it. Are you an ally? Ah. I fell for that. I am a doofus. Alright, let's let's get back up here. How How do I how do I jump? How do I how do I get up there? Is that a rope? Oh my god. Eh. Um, okay, I can't get back up there like that. I mean, I, I, I guess I'll just do my exploit route for now. Ugh. I go up here? Here? Wait. Oh, there was a, a thing I was supposed to do. No, push forward. That's weird. It's not a, it's not directional based. Right, grab that. Okay, there we go. I cat cheated and I exploited. And there's that cat again. Hmm. Okay. Rotate a little faster. Jump. No, 
I'm so stupid. I knew that wasn't a real one because of my my Sherlock Holmes vision or whatever you want to call it. So that my only complaint about this game so far is the con uh, the controls seem a bit peculiar. Um, like, like it doesn't seem to rotate very well, and your character's animation freaks out whenever you t try to turn too fast. Come here, get turned into a book! Okay, so I'm guessing those hurt me. Don't kill me! This is why you shouldn't read, kids! Books are dangerous. Hello there, Cheshire Cat Douchebag. Our hero, though aware of the task he bidden advised, understood that it was the only way to assist the enigmatic shape cage at the halter scene. Oh, was the cat supposed to be talking to me? Because there was nothing. Like I wasn't here ah uh, There was no talking from the cat. All I just heard the cat doing was laughing. Okay, so I'm timed. Um, I don't know where this is supposed to go. Wait, it's the wrong way. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh god, I'm stuck. Uh, okay, I exploited over that again. Try and cast cast this spell. E. A. Nope. E. A. 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 E. A. 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 I did it! Okay, so I know some of these are gonna be fake cards. There's that Cheshire looking cat jerk here. Okay, that was cool. Ouch. Oh, I did get hurt by that. I'm with this. I think there's supposed to be some text with this cat, or they're they're a guardian, or they're a like an indirect um, path NPC. But which I mean, they kind of they kind of said that that you don't you shouldn't completely trust uh, the the cat. But I don't have much of a choice because I don't know. I really don't know the good or bad of the cat. Excuse me, my throat. Okay, so going to this table. Oh, I gotta go up there. Okay, so um, I don't really need a lot of the platforms, so that definitely should be something that needs to be worked on. Uh, okay, because it seems that, which I, I understand that platforming is one of the hardest things. To get precise, uh, and especially in a 3D environment, I can't imagine that being like just a cakewalk. All right, where is the? Where am I going? Okay, that's where I need to get to. Oh, there's another. Wait, no, that's where I came from. Wait, what? Oh, there's another thingy right here. All right, let's do some more DDR. Right mouse button. Left mouse button. No. Right. Left. D. E, A. Got it. All right, Sherlock Holmes visions. Go. Ah. Sherlock Holmes visions, go! Ah. Oh, now it wants to disappear near instantaneously? Yeah, I'm coming, Mr. Bunny Rabbit thingy. The, music is score, the musical score is spot on. Like, I have to say, this, this is exactly what I would expect from this kind of environment. Now I need to cast my spell in this book. Alright, here we go. B, A, left, right. Got it. Are these all real? Nope, they're not all real. Jump. E. Okay, let me get up here. Let me go through. Okay. Oh! He was able to free the white oh, that's cool! This one, grateful. Bestowed upon our hero both his power and 
body keep it to you press a in the air to jump a second time oh oh so i'm i'm getting the help from storybook character but as the rabbit i can't uh i don't have my oh shoot what happened oh as the rabbit i don't have the sherlock home ability Oh shoot, jump back. That's all right. Can I fall down here? All right, play again. Okay, please don't let me start that whole part back over. Oh, it is. Oh, look, buttons. <laughs> Come on. Crap. I gotta go through this whole section again. There was no checkpoint after I got the rabbit. That is annoying. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna get this part again. Okay, I'm back. I'm back to the white rabbit. I'm gonna need to be more patient about uh, platforming as the rabbit. Which is cool because I guess, I guess that explains why the cat was the Cheshire cat. Or looked like the Cheshire cat. Because... Um, this whole themed area is Alice in Wonderland. Um, I'm guessing, or this just might be the current book that, uh, I'm interacting with at the moment. I'm not 100% sure, I'm still... There we go. Is this where I need to go? Is this where I need to go? Nope. And that's, that's really cool, because if I get to meet more characters, uh, then that means I get to get more powers, and I'm curious to see how that gets implemented or other characters. Oh, I can attack as the white rabbit. Where do I go? Um, I'm assuming I'm supposed to go somewhere that I wasn't, that I couldn't go before, and that's up here. Uh, over there, maybe? No, I could get over there before. I can't open any of these doors. can't use my Sherlock... What the... What happened? What is that? What did I just do? What was that? Okay, where do I go? Nope, not there. Maybe I go up here? Let's go up here. This is the only place that I wasn't able to get to before. But there's nowhere to go. Um. Oh, wait. I hear the cat. All right, where are you at there, Cheshire cat character person? Hear the laughing. All right, let's let's look around and see if I can find him. Sounds like it's over here. Maybe down below. No, it keeps teleporting me back up here. What the frick? Oh shoot, I fell. Okay, I'm gonna get up on the cards. See if I can find this jerk. Ugh. Like I said, the platforming is a little bit frustrating. Uh, there's there's a little bit of direction, but there's still not a whole lot. Oh, hang on. I'll call you back here in a minute. Okay, so I'm up here. Where's the cat? I don't, I don't know where to go from here. Like, I can't go up any higher. This takes me here. Oh, there's a door right here. I didn't freaking see the door. God, ah, jeez. I'm sorry about that. Whoa! Oh, that is cool! 
Oh, that's what it is. Oh, this is a cool, this is awesome. So it's a dive into storybooks. And I'm like, I'm actually falling into the rabbit hole. Woo! Did I get hit or something? Oh, this is awesome. Uh, oh, there's a bed. Thought I was dead. Bed dead. In bed. He was lost within the chaos. Yes. His only way to freedom was through his cunning and assistance of Aiden. Okay. So I I am gonna get stronger by oh, in rabbit form, press L2 to throw a time bomb. While holding the time bomb, press to aim for a better shot. Oh, 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 how do I, how do I, oh. So. Uh oh, I can't release the time bomb. When in doubt, press right mouse button to go to human form. I can't. I'm stuck with this time bomb in my hand. Um. Am I supposed to pick a target? Is that... My problem is, um, um, so I'm stuck with this. Okay, can I, can I get out of it? Uh, I literally cannot. Okay, well, with that, I'm going to leave this episode here because I was unaware that I was going to get stuck while holding a time bomb in my hand, which that kind of sucks. But this game is on Game Jolt. It is free to play. Um, it's actually really interesting, especially if you like the storybook characters. If the platforming and the controls can get worked out, the overall story seems really, really cool. So I'm actually curious to see where, how much further it goes. So I'm going to keep track of this game and... Um, and I may come back to it, and we'll see how it is. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. If you have any suggestions on adventures you'd like to go on, leave a comment down below. And who knows, maybe we'll go on your adventure next time. See you!